In this lecture, you will learn how to tell the time and adverbs related to time. You will also have a simple quiz. How to use there is in affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms. You will have a quiz to practice with different forms. Please try to practice as much as possible to feel comfortable using these new words and structures. Take your time and it will be very easy. Please look at the clocks first and we're going to learn time, how to tell the time. It is 12 o'clock. It is 10 past 10. It is 3 o'clock. More example here is 1.30 p.m. and you write 1.30, um, 3.40 p.m., 3.40, 6.40 a.m., 5.30, uh, 9.55, and 7.35. When you need to know the time, you will ask, what time is it? Please practice writing down in letters the time. Use the spaces next to the times and write down 10 30, 1 30, 9 45, 8 10, 11 40, 7 55, 12. AM and PM. We use AM from 12 o'clock midnight until 11.59 o'clock at noon, lunchtime. We use p.m. from 12 o'clock, noon, until 11.59 at night. Is it 10 a.m. already? Yes, it is 10 a.m. Is it 12.30 p.m.? Yes, it is lunchtime, 12.30 p.m. At what time is she going to bed? At 9.30 p.m. At what time is she getting up? At 7 a.m. These are adverbs that are time related. Now, today, always, immediately, tonight, tomorrow, never yesterday. Now you're going to learn there is in affirmative. We use there is when we say that something is somewhere. For instance, there is a book on the table. And this is a singular form, which means it's only for one. Okay? Pay attention and notice that we are using is, which is the verb to be in the third person. There is a cat on the chair. There is a girl by the door. There is an apple in the basket. There is a cat under the table. There is a dog behind the door. There is a car over the bridge. We use interrogative form to ask questions and notice the verb goes first, then the word there is there. Is there a cat under the table? Is there a window in the room? Is there a man standing in that corner? Is there and then the object? Answer, yes, there is. Or no, there is not. This is the negative form. You add not, N-O-T, after the verb and then continue with the sentence. There is not a man by the door. There is not an orange in the basket. There is not a dog under the table. There is not a boy behind the door. There is not a bike over the bridge. There is not a bird by the window. There is not a teacher in the classroom. In order to learn faster, you must write down the sentences over and over until it becomes natural. Please repeat after me. 
and write down all the questions and answers. Is there a man by the door? No, there is not a man by the door. Is there an orange in the basket? No, there is not an orange in the basket. Is there a dog under the table? No, there is not a dog under the table. Is there a boy behind the door? No, there is not a boy behind the door. Is there a bike over the bridge? No, there is not a bike over the bridge. Is there a bird by the window? No, there is not a bird by the window. Is there a teacher in the classroom? No, there is not a teacher in the classroom. Please answer the following questions with an affirmative answer. Example, is there a book on the table? Yes, there is a book on the table. Is there a dog behind the door? Is there a cat by the door? Is there an apple in the basket? Is there a man in the car? Is there a toy near the child? Now you're going to practice to answer with a no, negative answer. Look at example. Is there a shoe in the box? No, there is not a shoe in the box. Please write down all the answers next to the question and read them out loud so that you can practice, please. Is there a bus in the street? Is there a dog under the chair? Is there a pen on the table? Is there a cup of tea in the kitchen? Now we have here questions and answers. It is a little tricky. I want you to answer first with a negative answer saying no. Then I want you to tell me what there is instead using the affirmative mode. Example, is there a shoe in the box? No, there is not a shoe in the box. There is a kitty in the box. Is there a car in the street? Is there a man in the car? Is there a pen in the drawer? Is there a cup of coffee? This is the end of lecture two. Please continue to lecture three.